Hello and welcome to Nikivo How To Series. In this video, I show you how to manage tape cartridges in Nikivo Backup and Replication. Log in to the solution, open settings, select tape at the bottom of the general menu and click the tapes view. Here you can find detailed information about the tapes cartridges added to the Nikivo Backup and Replication inventory. Status indicates the current status of the tape cartridge. It can be in an online or offline. Scanning. Writing. Reading, or erasing state. Status also indicates whether there are any warnings or errors with the tape. You can also check each cartridge capacity. The device where it is located. The slot or drive number of each cartridge. The date at which the recovery points on this cartridge expire. The name of the media pool the cartridge belongs to and its location. And the number of backups on the cartridge. You can also choose which items to display in this tab by clicking the control settings icon in the bottom right corner. You can show hidden options like label and type or change the number of items per page. Click apply to save any changes you make. Here, the tape type is now displayed, which can be a read slash write, write protected, or cleaning tape. Use the search field at the top to locate a specific tape cartridge. Alternatively, you can apply filters to narrow down the search results and make them more relevant. For example, I want to locate a tape cartridge that contains a specific backup. To do so, I enter the backup name, the cartridge status, the device where it's located, the media pool, its location, the last written operation, the cartridge slot and the type. Now, let's click apply. There's only one cartridge that matches these criteria. You can adjust the search parameters to fit your specific needs. Let's click on any of the cartridges to open the tape cartridge management page. At the top of the page, you can find full information about the tape, including its status, name, barcode, type and other details. The tape contents table provides information about the backup stored on the cartridge and allows you to recover VMs directly from the table. You can click on any of the backups to get a detailed list of its recovery points. Click the three dots in the upper right corner to perform specific actions with the tape cartridge. You can scan the tape to see the list of backups stored on it. You can edit the label, media pool, and location of the tape. Move the tape to another slot, or to another drive. Protect the tape from being overwritten. Mark the tape as free to allow new data to be written over existing data or as a cleaning tape. Next, you can retire the tape from further use. Note that retired cartridges cannot be used for new backups but can still be used for recovery. Erase allows you to run full or quick erase of the tape data. The clean drive option initiates the cleaning cycle. Note that this option is available only for cartridges marked as cleaning. Finally, remove enable you to eject the cartridge from the tape device. Now, let me show you how to recover directly from the tape contents table. Hover over the backup you want to recover from, click the three dots on the right and select recover. This opens the recovery wizard in tape view and with the backup already selected. Click next to proceed. On the destination page, choose whether to recover to a backup repository or as a new VM. If you want to recover as a new VM, choose whether to recover to the original container or specify a container, data store, and network. Click next. Review and adjust the options if needed, then click finish and run. In the pop-up, click run again. The recovery process has already started and can be tracked from the jobs dashboard. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about the solution or the functionality, please drop them in the comments below. You can also download a free trial version of Nikivo Backup and Replication using the link in the description and try the solution in your own environment for 15 days.